Welcome guys to a video on decision maths and this one we'll be looking at minimax regret problems okay and a strategy to define it so let's look at the step-by-step -step guide let me show you let me show you what I did so suppose you're given a table with stocks and the possible payoffs are given at these kind of consecutive years year one year two year three okay so have a look at the table second for three stocks a b and c you got negative 0 0.3 0 0.9 0 0.4 and so on okay so how do we solve this problem how do we calculate the mini max regret okay first things first we need to find the regret table and this is a payoff table and in this problem we, our aim is to minimize the highest regret okay to do this let's do the preliminary okay i'm gonna i already made a step-by-step -step guide so step one we should find the highest payoff in each year okay so let's look at year one for a second we can see that the, the largest number there is 0.6 and then year two is 0.9 and year three is 0.4 okay good so here i shaded it in um orange or a light shade of orange i can't remember the exact color probably tangerina so what do we do from here okay the criteria for a minimax regret is that we need to stop here think logically and um, assume some criteria okay Suppose in year one, okay, let's take a year one. Suppose we bought some stocks A and B. We know it's less than and it's a problem. We bought these two stocks instead of C. Hence, if we did that, we would actually have lost an IE regretted 0 0.6 minus each term. So what I did on the right-hand side, you can see at year one, we had 0 0.6 minus minus 0.3 is 0.9. That's how much we would have regretted. And for stock B, we would have regretted 0 0.6 minus zero, which is 0.6 okay as you see in the table it looks like this the regret table okay now let's repeat the same thing for year three okay so we record that year two and year three the highest values were 0 0.9 and 0 0.4 for its payoffs now subtracting 0 0.9 across all year two values and 0 0.3 subtracting 0 point, uh, subtracting all values by 0 0.4 in year three we should yield these okay so you can see 0 0.9 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.4, 0 0.9 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.5 in year two. Looking at year three, we're gonna have 0 0.4 minus 0 0.1 for stock B is 0 0.3. Under stock C, 0 0.4 minus zero is 0 0.4, okay? And here, I just shaded the blue part just to indicate that this is where we found our highest payoff in the previous table, okay? Now, to find the minimax, all we have to do at this stage is find, before that we need to find the maximum regret and hence this at this point we'll, we'll be able to find the stock that minimizes the maximum regret so by add, adding a fourth column i want us to find um, the highest values in each row okay so looking at stock a we, we can see that the highest value is 0 0.9 the second highest one in stock b the next highest in stock b is 0 0.6 and then looking at stock c the highest there is 0.5 now filling our table maximum regret we have 0 0.9 0 0.6 0 0.5 and hence, according to step four, we should select a stock that minimizes the maximum regret, and that would be 0 0.5. Boom. So that means we should choose stock C. And that's it, guys. Hope this helps, and please let me know for any further problems, okay? Adios, and have a good day. Cheers.